Zealand. And let me tell you what's going on in New Zealand. The police there are now going door to door, from a uh, place of work, uh, job to job, and so forth. We've got one gun owner that has now been killed by the police as they go through their gun confiscation. Uh, it's, uh, they said they're going to places of employment, homes, even visiting gun ranges. One person posted up said, uh, needless to say, my workmates were shocked to see me taken into a room for a chat. These guys are quite nice about it, but they wanted to know what my partner and I have. Quite nice about it, yeah. That's the thing, you know. The, the police in New Zealand and the U.K., they can be quite deferential, can't they? Until they give you the back of the hand. <laughs> Until they shove you into the squad car and road trip you because you were exercising your free speech rights and they don't like Christians talking on the street corner. Uh, I said, I didn't put in any paperwork or forms in yet, so I was a little shocked to see them come out of nowhere. Anybody else get this yet? Any reason why they would have chosen me? I'm a bit confused. I'm worried. I'm scared that they just rock up and pull out the notepad and say, tell us what you got. Well, another guy was also freaked out. He's a former Russian soldier. He was fingered because his son put up on social media a picture of him with an airsoft gun. We'll tell you how he died when we come back. Stay with us. Welcome back. Reports are now coming in from New Zealand that the police are going from uh, place of employment to homes to uh, gun shooting ranges, rounding up anybody that they believe has a gun, pulling them in, questioning them. One person has now died. Uh, here's another uh, person talking about uh, what happened to him. He said, a mate of mine had the cops turn up his house after an image of a friend of his had posted on Instagram uh, holding his AR-15. He got reported. They asked to see his safe. He complied. They confiscated his AR-15 as well as his semi-automatic 22, although they admitted that they weren't sure that if that would be affected under the new law. They suggested that he might get the 22 back. They gave him a police property form with all the details of what they were holding, and they took the guns with him. And that's, isn't that nice? You know, they can be so polite, can't they? I think back to uh, Brazil. Terry Gilliam, uh, the guy that worked, uh, the American who did the artwork for Monty Python, his Monty Python version of 1984. Uh, and, of course, uh, the central uh, part of that that begins the uh, program, the, the, the movie, is that they're looking for somebody named uh, Buttle or Tuttle or whatever, but uh, the guy in the office, and, and, of course, all the technology there doesn't quite work. It's kind of like a Tesla. You know, they've, they've got all this high-tech stuff, but it doesn't quite work. And he's swatting a fly, falls into this, this uh, typewriter, physical typewriter. And then they've got the monitors that, uh, that have little tiny monitors, and they've got these big Fresnel lenses to magnify. <laughs> it, it just, everything is a kludge. But the uh, fly falls into the typewriter, and it, uh, it says uh, Tuttle instead of Buttle or whatever. They, go, they look up the guy, and they go to the wrong address. And it's a over-the-top. No knock raid. And this was, quite frankly, when I saw this, it was an over the top parody. But now it isn't. Now this kind of stuff happens all the time. Uh, this was before the no knock raids became common currency here in the United States in the name of the war on drugs. And so these guys come busting into the place. They cut a hole into the ceiling and everything and, and uh, rappel down. They arrest the guy, they put him in a bag, put a bag over his head, and, you know, he's hogtied. And they come over with all their paperwork. Uh, could you sign this and this and this and this? And here's my receipt for your receipt. Okay, thank you. And the, and the mother is just flummoxed. They have absolutely no idea what's going on. No explanation, no charges, but the police were ever so polite. <laughs> and evidently, that's what's happening here. Maybe he'll get his gun back. Maybe he won't. Maybe they'll just ban it in the meantime before they return it. But somebody has died, a former Russian soldier. Uh, this guy was a veteran of the Soviet and later the Russian Army. He spent time in Afghanistan and Chechnya. He was assigned to a special forces unit. And that may explain why uh, he perhaps had PTSD. He got reported to the New Zealand police because his son posted a photo of him wearing a Russian Army helmet and posing with an airsoft rifle, an airsoft rifle on social media. An airsoft rifle. 
And so a little snitch called the police, and he gets SWAT teamed. And um, he was afraid of going to prison. So he called his son, talked to his son for a while, it resulted in a standoff because he's like, I'm not going to prison. And again, I don't know what was going on with this guy. He was um, uh, had been in the military in Russia, maybe had PTSD, but he was afraid when the police show up and he gets into a standoff and uh, they believe that he committed suicide. A 54-year-old, uh, Troy Dubovsky, uh, told uh, the, the uh, press that he was sought by police after his property in Christchurch suburb of St. Martin's was searched on Tuesday. Anyway, uh, after they searched his residence, they found an 8 millimeter blank pistol, the suspicious airsoft rifle, uh, and if you don't know what airsoft is, it shoots little hollow plastic pellets that have no weight on them. So, you know, people use them for playing games, you know, like shoot them up games, kind of like a paintball gun, but it doesn't hurt as much. Uh, so he had an airsoft rifle, he had a blank pistol, and he did have a real gun. He had an SKS carbine, which is now illegal. It wasn't illegal before, but it is now illegal. So they report him based on a profile picture on Facebook five days ago, and he is. Uh, winds up in a standoff with the police and perhaps committed suicide. 